Uh, um, so yeah. What do you think? Uh, this looks like an item room. Yeah. Okay. Oh uh, yeah. Get more soldiers. What? What? Uh, or just the soldiers' weapons? That's to pick up the. Um, that's to pick up the other guy from the the other dungeon. Yeah. Exactly. What? Uh, what do you think are like? Is a series that has gone on on one console that has had the most changes across, like the most changes like across became, a single console. It became the most different. You know what I mean? That's tough. Because it's like, yeah, what series has spanned the most genres or, or variation in okay, their that's main hard fucking progress? If I've ever seen it. Yeah, you can save though. Uh, yeah, you're right. Okay. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> okay, no, we can back out. Okay. Cancel. Yeah. <laughs> did, did we do everything on this floor though? No, that's we, did, was, we did miss one. Okay. I was there was the I, I think we unlocked the yellow room. Okay, when I was googling that, I, I, I lost track. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, a game that changed that, where you had a lot of sequels, but they actually weren't just like we're rechange we're we're switching up the engine and the tile set. Yeah, uh, and on the same system too. Yeah, that's, that's tricky, dude. I I have no idea. I like um, Castlevania on the Game Boy Advance. They all stayed 2D Castlevania games, of course, but, like, when you look at all three of them, they all play very Ooh, differently from each other. That's a good one. Because Aria, Aria is all about the souls and, like, you're the variable weapons. Harmony is all about, like, having multiple dashes and variants on uh, the traditional Castlevania weapons, and you're stuck with a whip at all times. A traditional Castlevania whip. And, um... Circle of the Moon is all about like the the DSS system where you like match cards to get different abilities. I was like, and it's a much simpler game, and the the gap in quality between Circle of the Moon and Area is massive. My Huge brain tends to smell the DS and 3DS games together. The DS and GBA games, yeah. Um, aren't there 3DS games? There, no, there's only Castlevania. Um, uh, uh, um whatever, 3D? whatever. Yeah, the one that's Mercury Steam. Right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so it doesn't. So yeah, it's like it's just like the handheld timeline, or, yeah. you know, to me. But uh, yeah, yeah, if you were to if you were to add the DS games, I definitely say that uh, uh, Dawn like Dawn of Sorrow through Order of Ecclesia are more similar than Aria of Sorrow through Circle of the Moon. Like that, the latter half is more similar because okay. like once once they figured out Aria, because Iga didn't work on Circle of the Moon. He did Harmony, and then he did Area, and once they figured out Area, they kind of like stuck a bit more. Stuck with that to formula, that. yeah. So Dawn is like an expand, a direct expansion on Area, like direct, uh, same characters and everything. Portrait of Ruin is is different, where it's like you have the two characters who you switch between, and they each have different gear and abilities. And uh, Ecclesia was a bit more towards uh, so the Sorrow games because you collected, uh, you basically collected souls from the enemies. They're called glyphs. And those were your weapons in addition to your abilities, so it was kind of a, a mashup. But like, yeah, they, those ones are more similar than the GBA ones. I would, I would contend. Okay. Um, I can't. I, I'm, I'm trying to think of other series too, because that's a good question. Oh, 400. The 400 not bad though. Take it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I, yeah, I really can't think of anything where they, where they weren't like, where they put the, the fucking the crazy amount of work in. Where they're you know? not iterative series. I mean, yeah. that's the whole point of making a game. Like a beginning of a series is that you're gonna iterate. you can build on it, yeah. Yeah, I, and ideally you don't trash stuff, you know, like you know, a, a zero three to uh, ZX Advent uh, for the Americans. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, zero, like is uh, sorry zero one to that. Like it's iterative. It's it, and, the, and uh, Advent is like it's only once it gets the ZX that it kind of changes a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, first floor. But even then, that's like that you switch systems too. It goes to DS at that point. Um, oh. Yeah. What's up with you? Uh -huh. X, what are you doing? That was the best read. <laughs> Why that Ferrum? She goes off and acts on her own, and then she doesn't even finish the job. They were just oh like God! <laughs> this just means that you will have the opportunity to take care of them yourself, Botos. Oh! We're counting on you. You know what this is, man? Wow, Botos! You oh, zoom in. Epsilon's favorite. I'll show you soon <laughs> Look enough. at that face! Yeah, what's up with you? <laughs> kind of like it. Oh, God. Oh, the horrors. It looks like a fucking real doll. <laughs> <laughs> like that creepy-ass mouth. with the face, yeah. Don't do it. Um, That is not like 90s anime dubbing, but early aughts. 
Yeah. Right. And that's that's the era of this game, honestly. Right. It's like a little bit beyond like the era of like, hey, what are you doing? Don't touch me. Yeah. Akira style dubs, but still not fantastic. Not fantastic is like the politest way to. The okay, here we go. This looks like puzzles. See here might be a stump jammer. All right. Is, do these things just reflect? Yes, that seems to be the case. Okay, so and we got green get it panels. To Looks like we have to get it to touch that panel. It seems pretty yeah, straightforward. Yeah, and then uh, we have a wall, a circuit over there, and yep. Yeah, okay. Okay, so move that one. This would be logical. There you go. Is that success? Or <laughs> makes it tough to do puzzles when. <laughs> Or perhaps it wasn't success. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so he's got a counter shield, so you could blast right through that. Uh, yeah. With, with uh, Axel. Yeah. Um, what you might call it? The uh. Oh, I did have another two yeah. games to pitch you. Go ahead. Um, what was the earliest Tony Hawk game on PS2? Tony Hawk. Was it two or was it three? Because the reason it was not three, three was still for no, fuck. Yeah, three was definitely on PS2, no question. But uh, the reason I say this is because Ride was on PS2, I believe. Um, Tony Hawk Two was PS1. Tony Hawk Two was because you you get so then you get two, three, four, Underground, Underground Two, which is a big style shift, American uh, Skateland, and then I do believe you get Ride. You miss out on Project Eight, but I think Ride was also on PS2. Maybe I'm wrong about that. I'm it's, it, that. It, you're, yeah, I think we're talking two games per console, to be honest. Uh, double verify, verify, but uh, verifying. I don't, I don't, I don't trust that. Tony Hawk Ride is on PS2. Oh, a hundred, a million okay, percent. Okay, all right. Uh, and the other one I would say is the FIFA series on PS2, um, <laughs> because I don't know. Uh, I really don't know the um, the depth of the changes per year, but. Uh, FIFA, I believe FIFA 16 is on PS2. Um, yes, FIFA 16 is on PS2, which means there was a FIFA two years ago on the PlayStation 2. Um, FIFA 17, on the other hand, looks like they finally... I guess sports games, I guess. No, FIFA 17 is also on PS2. Uh... My brain wasn't oh, wait, even maybe it's, fucking... Maybe it's not. This one I'm not sure about. Going that direction, but you're not wrong. Like, you want to see this FIFA comparison of the PS1, PS2, PS3, and PS4? Wow, wow, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, like, the, 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 the quality of life changes over the Aki engine on um, right, eh? fucking those games, the, the wrestling games. I guess is... we succeeded, so just go through that door. The south door. Did we succeed? Oh, I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> eh, maybe we did. Okay, hold on, though. So we picked a direction when we came up to this floor overall and just went in it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, looks like they're all connected, though. Cool. All right. Yeah, the wrestling games are good picks. I feel like yeah, that that those are those are so drastic that uh, this just leads back to the center room. To the so center we can room, right we back can to okay. turn around. Yeah, perfect. Okay, and there's no actually items there. Um, yeah, wrestling kind. No, of, that's locked. Wrestling kind of fits in. Oh, okay. Wrestling kind of fits in with the sports game, like yeah, uh, var variability it's a franchise where they plan to have yearly entries type yeah. of thing. Um, are there any of the designs that you saw for uh, EXE characters? I'm gonna keep saying it. I don't care. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Who am I arguing with? Uh, are there any of the EXE characters that you um, you like their their designs as net navvies more than their original character designs? Uh, more than their original character designs? I think I like Gutsman better than I like Gutsman. Gutsman looks better as a as a net navvy. Uh, I, I'll take. Yep. He has yeah. a he has a really fun design as a net navvy. Uh. Ain't got nothing bad to say about that design. No, no Gutsman Net Navi um, looks great. Looks way better. I agree. I like Roll better. Roll.exe. Uh, partially because, like, 
Her design's great, but also she plays an active role, and she's not just like a helper character. Her little halo is pretty dope. It's it, like I think it's a really good design. I don't know who did the character designs, but uh, uh, I because I remember seeing the um, I guess the 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 Proto Man EXE kind of thing. Yeah, blues. Yeah, and uh, I remember kind of being like, I. It's weird, but it's like there's not enough lines on this. It's the way you, it's the way you distinguish a, a bad yeah. Gundam design from a good Gundam design. He's a different looking character. You don't want useless lines, uh, but you want a few to just kind of like make the design stand I, I out. I like this motherfucker as a net oh navy. base dot exe base dot exe because he has his cloak. The cloak. He always has the, the cloak. cloak. Um. Yeah. Like I I I, I talk about um. Oh, this is the room we solved, right? So. We might as well go back. Actually, no, I should have went to the middle. I, you know what? Like, I like ProtoMan.exe a lot as well. Honestly, Look, uh, like looking back at him, uh, that's uh, that. I, that's a little too simple too for me. It is very I, simple. It I is like, without a doubt quite simple. I like the original. This Proto is what Man Mega Man looks that. like when he gets that too. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, I don't. I don't. No, I'm, I'm not too big on that. I have, one. To, I have to look back at original Proto Man just to compare because I I actually know. But the like Proto Man. Proto Man's not like wild either. He's like he's pretty restrained. His design, you know, he's got. He the is. He, he is. But the, uh, I, I think I like. I think I'm. I'm it's just, it's the adaptation I'm, uh, of it that I'm kind of yeah. talking about. I, I I think that um, like yeah, that that, that cloak thing. Like I, I I talk about the the cloud from um advent children no 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 from kingdom hearts oh from one. kingdom hearts, kingdom hearts yeah, yeah of course kingdom hearts one i bring it up often because it's like that we're never gonna see it again but you know like the you throw a fucking cloak on something a ripped one at that and you're 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 getting a cool guy yeah without a doubt i i um i have a hard time saying that i prefer the robot masters to their exe versions like even airman it's like really I like Airman's design. Like I, I, I kind of like them a lot. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, was that Airman.exe? That's Airman.exe. Shit, that's cool. Um, <laughs> I never saw that. There's actually, a, there's a lot of really good ones. Uh, uh, I haven't Bubble, seen Bubble Man. .exe. I haven't seen the uh, the Mega Man Two um, Net Navis. How's Quick Man? Because Quick Man is one of my favorites from fucking the originals. Yeah, tell you Quick, what. Quick Man's cool, and he's a really fun fight in the game because he's fucking flying. Look at Quick Man. <laughs> oh my god, that's <laughs> Quick awesome! Man so good! God damn it! I, I, that um, rules! I have a really hard time picking out ones that I like less. Fuck. And then there's like unique net navvies who are not um, originals, like Colonel.exe. Oh, of course. And well, no, no, no. Well, no, no, no. Colonel is from uh, X4. Oh, is he? I, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I had no idea. Well, Colonel. Is there is there a general as well? Uh, let me see. No, I, there is not. I'm, I'm looking at a list for reference. Okay, right now, Colonel. Colonel's I, from X4. Yeah, that's a thing. It's, uh, uh, also, yeah, Searchman was good if I remember right. Um. What? But uh, two, two that always jumped out at me. Holy was, fuck, Quick Man looks so cool. Quick Man looks amazing. <laughs> I never saw uh, that. Two that always jumped out at me that I think are original, but you're blowing my mind a little with Colonel, was I always liked Medi. Uh, okay. She was like the, the, the healer kind of character. Yeah, she's not um, from anything that I can think I, of. I don't think so. And Did I, you look up the original Colonel? Uh, no, not yet. I'm, I'm going okay. to right after this. Uh, and I always liked, I believe his name was Search Man. He was from Battle Network 4, which was, of course, the, the one mm -hmm. that I... Uh, kind of played the most at the time where like yeah search man's cool hey, yeah search he's man the, absolutely got the orange and green going on that's he's, great no no nice. so, that's cool that's cool man um, um let me see i forget which one's a... which between flame man and fireman i always mix them up show me show me uh, uh okay well fireman is is your um, fireman's the mega man mega one, man one, one guy was, with the with the the, the tor the I kind of torch head the lighters and shit yeah. and flame man is mega man two that looks like a zippo yeah because I just I just clicked on flame man and I was like that was the wrong one fireman looks great in battle network I think he's the first boss right at the beginning of good. battle network one that's good I, I don't I, mind that at all I really wonder who did the like who's the artist for for this shit. They all look really good. Which one did you want me to, to get you? I wanted to see. I wanted to see the equivalent of. Uh, oh no! You know what? We didn't solve that puzzle actually because we're pretty much stuck going back to this main room. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Um, unless the bottoms are open, I I, so I want to see some of the Mega Man two ones. But but look up General's original form just so that you see what that yeah, looks like. Yeah, I, I absolutely will. Absolutely will. For comparison's sake, because uh, was was Metal Man Mega Man two? Yeah. Metal Man was Metal, Mega Man two. Yeah. Mega Man Metal Blade. God, that uh, song is so fucking good. General Mega Man X four. X four. What do you look like? 
Uh, he, yeah, he looks cool. Right, he's, he's got the cool. big hat, and he's, he's fucking all, huge. He's massive. And that's, yeah. and that's, yeah, okay, I see them. Colonel yeah. in general, yeah. totally, in, totally meant to. Oh, that's neat. We outclassify yeah. uh, X. Was was Elect Man Mega Man Two or Mega Man One? Uh, Elect Man was Mega Man One. Yeah, okay, well, because Elect Man got a really good redesign too. Uh, I'm it's not, like um, he's not, he's not cool. Uh, like he's not meant to be cool. He's yeah. meant to be like. That's all right, I guess. I'm. I'm a little bit cooler on that one. That's fair. Uh, Metal Man, uh, Wood Woodman was he? Battle Woodman, two? Woodman, Woodman? St Woodman would be two. Woodman would be Mega Man two. Um, and he's just a tree stump body with a tree stump head, and he yeah, looks super Yeah, I, I remember that. So how do you make that cool? Uh, Ice was Ice Man. Ice Man was Mega Man one. I found Mega Man one. Okay, and Hyper. Um, Woodman. That's a W. Woodman. There we go. Oh, and not build Hyper. Gain Hyper. Yeah, you gotta put visual aids in this episode. I, I, you're, you're making me work, but yeah, yeah, that's fine. At this point, it's worth it. That's fine. Gonna have to go through it a little bit. Uh, this is progress, actually. So let's see what's going on here. What did Slash Man look Anything like? Anything behind? Oh, all right. Slash Man's got this kind of like Chinese oh martial arts looking design. Interesting. A little bit. Uh, especially with the <gasps> we're back in the, the desert hair. directly. I like the desert. Uh, Woodman looks just as stupid. He's a fucking stupid tree. Oh, he's an even dumber tree. Yeah, he looks sad. Like, he's like funny, fat anime what guy. What do you do? God damn it. And then, what is... Oh, I forget Metal Man entirely. Okay. So if we ever need to go back to the desert, we got a we gotta sure shot. Metal Man's really interesting. He's a, he's very different from his original design. That is extremely different. The colors are not the same. Yeah, yeah. He's still got the blades like on his shoulders. And yeah, shit. the blade on his head never made a ton of sense, but it was fine. We just didn't question it. Okay, but look at how smart his face is, where um, the blade works as anime hair over his face. Yeah. But, yeah, like, okay. I, yeah, yeah. That's kind of what the original had, too, though, to be honest. I, I'm going to look at the original Metal Man, because I'm not as familiar with him. Mega Man, Metal Man, and when you by the time you go up to, to the sixth, oh yeah, he game, did have a similar thing going on. By the time you go up to the sixth game, are they just kind of using the characters from M Mega Man X Six? So that, uh, uh, Mega Man Mega Man Six rather, not X. Well, no, actually, because see, the thing is, like, they're not all explicit villains, like uh, like the um, Robot Masters or okay. anything like that. Uh, and also, you don't a lot of the times you don't destroy them, um, so bosses recur between games. Because they're, they're, they're attached to kids, aren't I, they? I think, well, some of them. A lot of them are attached to adults. But, like, I think you fight Gutsman in every game. Uh, and I think you fight Proto Man in most of the games and stuff. Okay. Since they're RPGs, like, they're able to have all of them, even if they don't appear in the main story, like, even as bonus bosses and stuff like that, you know? So, um, like, and they have their own stuff going on, sort of. Uh, and Battle Network 4 was the most explicit with that, where it was just a battle tournament the whole game, right? So... Mm. You know, you got that. There was never like a, a zero .exe or something, was there? I think there was. Didn't they? Didn't they keep it mostly not X? Most I don't remember if there was, but it's been a long time. But let me search. Because I always thought of like Rockman .exe as like Rockman as opposed to like you know Mega Man X. Yeah, I mean it's kind of its own thing in the same way that X is its own thing from Mega Man. And, sure, you just kind yeah. of merge them all together if you if you can. Cuz yeah, like General is, you know, an X character. Are there and there's, there's, are there Animal Net navvies too? At all? Uh you mean like Storm Eagle? Oh no, Storm Eagle I don't think has one. But like yeah, the, no, the, most of the Xboxes, you're right, didn't get touched. Yeah, here, Zero.exe was totally a thing. He was a... Uh, I remember him being a very significant character. Um, this is what Zero.exe looks like. Because he's like a villain. Ooh. So, like... God damn! He looks super hot. He looks Ooh. real sharp. Which That's game, fucking... Oof. Which game was he All in? right! Yeah, I know. <laughs> I think he was Battle Network 3, but I can't remember. Was there a single consistent artist for the the, the series? I, you know what? I want to find out. I want to find out okay. that right now. Uh, Let me see. We're Mega gonna Man. Into that one. Bat and it makes me want to buy... Honestly, it makes me want to buy the art book, but... Um, artist. Mega Man Battle Network Artist. Uh, I, I have I, I have the, the the Mega Man artwork collection where um, I can't turn through all the pages because there's spoilers for games I still want to play. Oh wow! It sucks! It sucks! I have to turn each page carefully, and I'm like, fuck it. I'm, I thought I'm you were like, gonna say you couldn't turn through them because all the zero pages were stuck together. Uh, well, the zero pages. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, the 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 zero. Uh, I can't I can't turn to the zero series games that I haven't played yet, which is uh, three and uh, beyond. Um, um, it's it seems to be these artists I don't recognize at all. Um, Shinsuke Komaki, is that right? Shinsuke Komaki, who. Yeah, Shinsuke Komaki did a bunch, and I don't recognize... Okay, this is what we want to target. We want to target these wall panels, actually, not the green. Oh, not the green. We want to fry the wall panels. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, so Shinsuke Komaki did a bunch, and Keisuke Mizuno, who's who honestly, like, they may have done a lot of stuff, but I don't recognize... I don't recognize their names. Well, so. fucking applause to these champions, because... They probably did stuff. Keisuke Mizuno did the Rockman X figure April Fool's version as well. Oh, okay. Apparently. Okay, okay. Um, I don't know. It seems like it's mostly the former guy, though, and less so, less the Keisuke guy. But, uh... Well, I, I approve of some of those designs you just showed me, man. That's they're some good. solid shit. It, it's really worth just looking through... Yes, the Mega Man Battle well, Network card. Because I love seeing, like, it's like, you know, reimaginations of fucking, you know, stuff that oh, I know. It's, yeah, exactly. That's always well, fun. And when you see Mega Man's, like, this is Mega Man's kernel form. It's oh, like, that's Mega dope. Man gets all these fun costumes, too, just, right, like, just right. like in regular Mega Man games, you know? Well, but it's more than just a palette swap, actually. Yeah, right? it's the full costume with the weapons. And, like, like there's fun stuff in there where you get base nice, and shit nice. like that, so... And the Psy Beasts, they, they're, like, not so crazy or anything, but they're... Man, that, that uh, the, the, the Network Transmission series, that could have been actually... Oh, it could have been a series, I should say. It actually ended it up being was, just one... It was a total thing. It was one game, though, right? Which one, sorry? Network, Network Transmission? Transmission? Yes. Oh, sorry, I, I mixed it up with the anime, and then, anyway. Um, yeah, Network Transmission was just the one game, which was kind of a bummer, honestly, because it's like... It's good. It's could, a good have, game. could have done some more there. It's good. It's just hard. As far as I know, it just didn't sell well at all. So that's the end of that, right? Um, that's ca cool. I can't find a full piece of art just off off the cuff. But like when you get the Psy Beast forms, like they're these really cool. Uh, well, now but now we're getting into Digimon, Pokemon. They're still cool. There's only know. the two. There's only the two. Psy Beast. Falls and I don't are... mean to say that disparagingly because yeah, there's some great yeah. designs in those worlds. But it's clearly getting into like okay, this is. Your, your collectible kid. Uh, These two internet gods, pretty much, yeah. right? So it's like... But there's only two. They didn't overdo it. It's the net navvies that are like the fucking Pokemon. Where now, like, can we fondly these. say the same for... Uh, Star Force? Star Force. I think Star Force had the same... This is the question. I think Star Force had the same uh, artists. I think. Uh, but I'm not sure. So let me open up a list of Star Force characters... As I struggle to remember what they were... Were they net navvies? I can't even... Like, what it's, were they? Space? Because Omega Xs... <laughs> by the way, I'll remind you... Oh, God. Omega, Fucking cranky His name me. is Omega yeah, Xs. Omega Xs. And, and, and no, when I he was merges like, with Geostellar, yeah, they become Geostellar. <laughs> Mega Man. Space. S-P-E-I-S-S. -S. Yeah. What well, Geostellar. Okay, they're called the FM... <laughs> they're the FMians. Oh, As in, God. like, AM and FM, you know? I hate everything um, out of your mouth. I hate your mouth. Shut it. It's um, so bad. It sounds so fucking bad, dude. I really need to... Are they... Or should I be looking for a list of FMians? <sighs> just, just, just go Mega Man... Star Force bosses, I guess, right? Like, I, I guess so. That's right, the right way to go. But I'm, with I'm it. pretty sure it, it follows the um, the same format as uh, Battle Network. Here we go, FMians. Uh, did they do the same? Did they do new characters, or did they just like kind of uh, reimagine? Oh yeah, again? there's there's new characters, but his helmet is his I, head. I, I, dude, I'm. I mean, his gun is his helmet. I'm really struggling to find the list of. I'm just gonna search for bosses because you're right. This is like. Why would his gun be his helmet? Eggman Star Force bosses. So that's here we stupid. Got. Um, it seems like they're more like, yeah, they're more like new characters as far as I can see. They're not, um, they're not returning characters. Okay. So like, there's this girl called Harp Note. She looks kind of like Roll, and she's like got a little by guitar the Roll thing. character, you know. And there's like. 
Uh, this guy called Cygnus Wing. And yeah, like they're more... Well, Cygnus, Cygnus is a character from the original X Games as well. Okay, because uh, there's Tauros Fire, Cygnus Wing, uh, Cancer Bubble, Libra Scales. Like it seems like it's based on... Um, that kind of stuff. There's Gemini and shit. Yeah, I know. It's, it's I, 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 not, not. As far as I can see, not uh, Gemini Man or just kind of like Gemini a, Spark. Okay. Um, yeah. But I, I never actually ever played Star Force two or three. I own a copy of three, I think, because I, I got it very, very inexpensively at an EB Games. Um, but I, I don't, I didn't ever play those games at all, which is kind of like. It's kind of a bummer, but when me and my friends in high school uh, were coming off the tail end of high school and, like, Mega Man Star Force came out, we were like, yeah, this will be cool, and... Uh, did you? Was that the impression, yeah? It wasn't. We, we didn't get into it. It just was not uh, the same thing. So here, Mega Man Star Force has three versions. Star Force 2 has two versions. Uh, and then Star Force 3, I think, returned to three versions, but I can't remember. Um... And there's fucking Operation Shooting Star, which I try not to think about. What? What was that? It's Mega Man Star Force Operation Shooting Star. Okay. Um, and I've never played it because it never got localized. Okay. No, sorry. It's Rockman.exe Operate Shooting Star. Um, and it is a secret Battle Network 7, basically. Uh, this picture should tell you everything. Of oh god, it's Geo a crossover. Stellar. It's a crossover oh. game. Oh, yeah. um, Jesus! And that was the last Battle Network slash Star Force style of game ever made. Okay. Um, and it was over. There, there was one other one in between though, and it, or well, one other one and one like spinoff, uh, like half sequel. There was um, uh, Mega Man Battle Chip Challenge. For the Wonder Swan and then the Game Boy Advance. They made Wonder Swan games? Just the one. Uh, that came to Wonder Swan, and I think the first Battle Network also got ported to Wonder Swan. Huh. Because um, that was that was actually relevant at the time. In, J in Japan, the Wonder Swan was actually relevant for a little while, uh, even though it never came out here. Um, but uh, Battle Chip Challenge is, is, is not a very good spin off. It's just like, it's a very pale. Um, spin-off kind of like where it takes the ideas of Battle Network and turns it into a more traditional turn-based RPG uh, but it's not it's not very fun Man. Um, and then there's Battle Network 4.5 and that one do you remember um, maybe you remember this there were to Battle Network toys where you could get a net navi like a the 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 device, I forget what it's called, and you could put battle chips in it and play like a little oh god LED game. Uh, yeah, actually, uh, yeah. So I, I so, vaguely remember what you're talking so about. So Mega Man Battle Network, or I should say EXE, because it never came out in English. Four point five uh, was a GBA game that was a expanded so version of four, like Pokemon Emerald was to Ruby Sapphire. And one of the big gimmicks, the big gimmick, was you could use those battle chips on in your GBA. Okay. And you'd be able to slot in the battle chips to give them to Mega they Man. Were, uh, there was a slot on the cart? On the cartridge. On yeah, the cartridge? The cartridge rather, was so? a, a big cartridge. Yeah, yeah. So That's pretty cool. Okay. That was neat. That, of course, never came out here. Was this, so this was kind of like a Pokemon Yellow situation? Yeah, exactly. So it was expanded. It has more content. But uh, that was the main thing. And it never came out here.